It was the first day of autumn in the Hundred Acre Wood, and everyone there was very busy spring or autumn cleaning. Or at least almost everyone was. Little Roo was otherwise occupied playing with his ball. Now Al was busy looking for something he had misplaced. Oh, I say, where has my memory book gone off to? I wonder why I can't remember. Carrots, carrots, carrots! I must gather more carrots. And Eeyore was having a particularly gloomy day. Pooh, however, was happily doing what he loves most. Eating honey. <laughs> Pooh Bear certainly loves honey. But honey was not on everyone's mind. Especially not Tigger's. And a couple of whoa-da-da-do-dee-doos and no ba da ding A granosaurus! A granosaur? A granos... Wait a second there, little piglet. Oh, that's just a big old pile of leaves and they're very good for bouncing in. and it's right behind me. P -p -p Please save me, Christopher Robin. Don't be afraid, Piglet. There's nothing behind you. Yeah, sure, sure, there's nothing there. It's just your imagination. <laughs> what a frightened little Piglet you are. Quite sure. You know what, Piglet? You need to face your fears. Oh my goodness, no, I couldn't do... I mean, that would be... Face my fears, you say? That's right. To overcome a fear, you just have to stare it down. Believe in yourself, Piglet. You have a hero inside of you, just waiting to come out. But I'm too afraid, Christopher Robin, and I'm so very small. I mean, heroes must be big and brave. Oh no, I'll never be a hero. And so as Roo was falling asleep, Pooh started to drift off as well. But as everyone was so preoccupied, they hadn't noticed Piglet. Feeling that he was too small and too easily frightened to help his friends, Piglet left the Hundred Acre Wood all alone and rather sad. could do with a smackerel of honey now. Just a small jar. Or two. Or three. Hang on, oh. Pooh! I'll do my best to unstick you! Oh. Oh. oh, thank you, Piglet. You see, I've discovered that caramel is quite good for eating, but not so good for, um, standing in. Now let's find Rabbit. I'm sure he knows where to find some honey. Come along now, Piglet. Follow me. Oh, thank you, Piglet. This is the tastiest. The most uh, delicious, oh, no, the yummiest honey I have ever eaten. <laughs> Just a little higher, my ball. I can't seem to reach it.
You got my ball back. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, my ball. Oh, don't worry, Rue. I'll get it back. Uh, I uh, think. Halt! None shall pass. Oh, please! I need to get through. Not so fast, small one. <laughs> but, but I have to get the ball back. It, it, it belongs to my friend Rue. So you want the ball? How touching! But you seem to be a little scared. Oh, I've an idea. If you scare me, I'll let you in. But I think you are much too frightened. <laughs> Hooray, my ball! Oh, thank you, Piglet. I got my ball back thanks to you. As Rabbit continued counting his colors, and Tinker painted everything orange, Owl had fallen asleep, and Eeyore drooped into a rather gloomy dream. My book, my book, my memory book. Oh, where could it be? Not here? Hmm, surely not here. I shall never forget. It figures all the colors have gone away. It sure is pretty with all the colors back, if you like that sort of thing. Looks like we've got visitors. But it's too dark. We can't see anything at all. Maybe we should light the candles. What a good idea, Eeyore. I'll go ask Rue to lend us his lamp. Having all the colors back kind of turns a gray day sunny. Thanks for your help, Piglet. It's raining. Oh, my carrots. My carrots! <laughs> and a little bit of tooth. Look! Oh, my stripe. My wonder must take a stripe. <laughs> My carrots! My, my carrots! My carrots! Must get my carrots to save me! They'll be ruined! Oh, my carrots! Ah, oh, if only Piglet were here! He could he help me save, save my carrots from the rain. Thought Rabbit, falling asleep, and that's exactly what he dreamt about. 
Oh no, Piglet, not now. I'm much too busy. It's going to rain, and all my carrots will be flooded. If I don't get my carrot extractor working correctly, everything will be ruined. Oh, what a disaster. What can I do to help, Rabbit? I've got to fix this machine. <laughs> oh no, my carrots. How am I going to get them all picked if I'm stuck here? Piglet! Please, I need to get the extractor going again. My carrots. My, my carrots. My carrots. You've saved my precious carrots. Oh, thank you, Piglet. Without my Tigger Stripes, I'm nothing but a second-rate Tigger! I'm back to being my same old self with all my Tiggerific Stripes! And it's thanks to you, Piglet! <laughs> and as everyone slept peacefully, the rain continued to fall. Down and down it fell, until the water began to rise and rise. Oh dear, if this continued, the water would rise over Piglet's friends who were all asleep. To overcome your fears, you must believe in yourself. Say there, Piglet. Thanks for getting us out of this muddlesome mess. <laughs> oh yes, it was very brave of you, Piglet. Oh my, I, I do hope nothing has happened to Christopher Robin. Oh, Christopher Robin! Where have you all been? I've been looking all over for you. I'm starting to get worried. Oh, there's nothing to worry about, Christopher Robin. We're all quite safe and sound, thanks to Piglet. Really? Thanks to Piglet? You faced your fears, didn't you, Piglet? I'm so very proud of you. It's thanks to you, Christopher Robin. I just followed your advice. Come now, Piglet. It was you, and you alone, who faced all those fears. Now I suppose that you all must be very hungry after that big adventure. And so it was that Piglet had become a hero to all his friends. And he would never again think that he was too small or too frightened. <laughs> <laughs>